how different is networking in cloud native cloud centric work versus traditional data center societies yeah so i think that's the point of being a cloud infrastructure provider right we're trying to abstract away as much complexity for the customer as possible uh, they just want to run their workloads run their workloads reliably and not have to worry about getting into all the details behind how the cloud works you know that's our job uh, and there's tons of details that go into all of that. So building a cloud network, obviously, uh, is pretty complex and there's there's a bunch of different uh, technologies that go into it. You know, I think the main technologies that I like to talk about are interconnection, you know, backbone and the data center network. Uh, as far as interconnection, you know, we put a ton of effort into understanding, you know, what external networks around the globe are important to our customers. Uh, like I personally fly around the world and go to all these peering conferences meet with you know other networks to to develop these peering relationships and get our customers the best and most direct connectivity possible uh, which allows for the lowest latency the least chance of variability due to the internet so if we hand off a connection you know to these networks our customers are getting direct connectivity uh, which is you know obviously far superior to having to ride you know unknown networks unknown hops unknown routers uh, and then we also tie all our our pops in or our regions uh, with a backbone. So we have a unified global ASN. Customers can reliably transfer data between our regions. It stays on our backbone, which eliminates the variability of the internet also, uh, which is awesome. And then as far as the data center network, you know, it's, we have to be able to scale, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of instances, provide features, uh, and all that is done, you know, using various overlays and, and open source technologies.